Hey, what's up, my friends? <laughs> I'm just out here uh, coming up with a strategy for how I am going to replace this regulator rectifier. I got the new one in today, and thankfully it looks exactly like the old one. I made sure, you know, looked at a lot of pictures before I ordered it, but yeah, it's got all, it's got the same exact wires, no more, no less. It's perfect. Hooks in the same way. So this uh, old one right here that we got, all of the wires should be coming out at one place at this connection point. But for some reason on this one, it's not. We've got the positive and negative clipped out of the connector here and wired over here. It ultimately serves the same purpose, running from here, from all the way down to the device or through the connector here. It's the same thing. I'm not sure the exact reason why the previous owner wired it this way. My only guess would be that this connector is all these wires were afraid it was too close to the connector here for them to work on it so they just ran the wires from a ground up here and a positive over here. That's probably, hopefully that's what it is. Hopefully I don't get this all attached to the new one and it not work. That's my biggest fear. But since it looks pretty straightforward, I don't think that'll be the case. Talking, planning is good, but work is what needs to be done now. So let me get to it. right out the gate I run into my first problem you may be able to tell it's the next day <laughs> this little connector here the part that plugs into the new thing it has the three yellow wires and a black and a red getting these old terminals the little female attachment, the little female connectors that were inside of this plastic, getting them out of there was, took the longest time that I've ever spent on one project before in my life. <laughs> it was like two and a half hours. I sat out here just like this. Yep, that's how it happened. Just like that. <laughs> so, now that it's friggin' clear, I can go on to, uh, see, I did get the, the little terminals out. This one came out intact. This other one came out in pieces. <laughs> but they are the terminal is now free and clear and ready for the new wiring so let's see think first okay I got my red and I got my black here so we will just uh get a couple of female connectors, attach these, solder them really well so they don't accidentally slip out, and attach them. Attach them where they go.
truth. Let's crank it up and see if it runs. for about 10 minutes no surging no stuttering good good that works I still have a problem with the uh, the fuel it's on off the petcock is on off and it's still and it ran all that time with it on off and um, fuel is leaking out the overflows of the float bowl so that petcock either either it was faulty from the factory or I mean I bought it new and all settings work the same I think something's wrong with it but I'll, I already took it apart once but I'll take it off take it put a take take it apart again and look at it maybe there's just the gasket around the tank or something like that is not sealing correctly hopefully it's a simple problem and also the oil is leaking out the bottom around the gasket and i do have one ordered it should be here just any day now and once i get those two replaced plus the little cutoff switch that i was working on i think i think that's about it unless another problem occurs but we will think about that i will be positive <laughs> thanks for watching you all have a wonderful day and take care bye bye